Hello everyone. In my previous video, we had seen how to use the new feature of Cloud Identity Aware Proxy to access GC instance using internal IP address. Today, we'll see how to avoid egress cost by using private Google Access. We'll see that in action. For that, let's use the traditional way of provisioning a resource without doing any changes, keeping all default setting. The name of the virtual machine is Avoid hyphen egress hyphen GCE and this is the region in which it is getting provisioned. Let's click on create. The virtual machine is provisioned and it has an external IP address. So let's SSH into it. So let me clear the screen and let me try to access a storage bucket. Just list what is there in that storage bucket. I have a storage bucket with the name custom demos and we are we should be able to list it easily because it's using behind the scene external IP address to access the storage bucket so if you want more details you can refer to this link to understand that now what we'll try to do is We'll try to do everything using internal IP address. For that, first let's remove the external IP address. Delete the virtual machine, remove the external IP address. Click done, click save. Now, if we see the SSH is blocked, so the only way to access this machine is using the, the new feature which I showed in the last video by this command. Let's SSH into that machine. All good. Let me make the screen big. Now, with the internal IP address, if I try to access the same storage bucket, just list it. Let's see what we will get. If you keep trying, it shows you this message trying re retrying the request. So it will keep on logging the same message. Reason is there's no external IP address enabled. If no external IP address is enabled, you'll get this message. So what is the proper solution for this? So go to the VPC network. And click on the submit for which for which your in which the machine has been provisioned it is in asia south one click edit the important thing is enable this private google access let me bring the screen minimize this the moment i turn it on and save the setting you should be able to see it is able to list the content this error message will go off it should get updated in a minute or so you see it's able to list it i just uploaded a simple file app.yaml and if i try to list it again you should see that it is listing so everything is now using internal ip address rfc 19 one eight address space so this way you can avoid egress cost hope the video was helpful thanks for watching